the most common logo design process used by the professionals to put their ideas on the white paper by using pencil and scale. This process helps you to be more creative in design and save your time and effort. When you do sketches on the white paper, you will come up with large number of variations of concepts on the same descriptions. You will have more number of options to pick the best one. And once you pick that, you can go to the software. Here I bought my hand drawing sketch logo to this software. You can use any software to make a logo. So I am using this Adobe Illustrator software to digitalize this hand sketch logo and I will redraw it with more perfectly. First what I will do, I will uh, rotate this image. And now let me make little bit smaller in size. And place it at the middle. Now let me lock it so that it will not move and it will not disturb while uh, we use the pen tool and draw it. From the beginning, I'll start from, from the book. So from the toolbar, select this pen tool and remove this fill color and give the outline color here. So I'll select red color so that uh, it can be more visible to us and you can increase the stroke from here it's up to you but it is not mandatory that you need to increase the stroke and now i'll draw from here i'll draw a straight line from here to here so in order to make a straight line it's better to press and hold shift key on your keyboard and draw it so that you can get a perfect straight line here and from here I'll, I'm making it more perfectly and from here to here and fix it like this and now from here to here and up to this alignment I'll draw it up to here and make sure the curve should uh, uniformly goes through because alignment is the key to make a good logo and from here to here I'll draw it and click on this anchor point click here and join it now you can select them and you can remove this outline color and give the fill color and now select them and from the toolbar select this reflect tool and you can double click on the reflect tool and uh, from the axis select this vertical option you can preview it and click on copy and now by using shift and arrow key on your keyboard take it to the right side now we need to draw this curve line here but it is hidden by this shape so what I'll do I'll select this one and this one and from here I'll reduce the opacity Instead of completely hiding, we need to uh, reduce the opacity so that we can see what we are doing actually here. And after doing that, go to object and lock it so that this uh, top object will not disturb while we'll be drawing this shape. So to make this shape, what I'll do, I'll take ellipse tool and here I'll draw an ellipse. And I'll reduce this fill color of this ellipse and keep outlines only. And I'll change the outline so that it will not mismatch with those colors. So you can select different colors for this. And manipulate this. And now rotate it. and take this one little bit down and now select this one 
go to edit copy edit paste in place and now you can drag it and you can drag this one little bit so what I'll do now I'll select this tool and from the toolbar select this shape builder tool and here choose a color so I'll choose different color here and click here and make a shape now select those lines and delete it now select this one and remove this outline color now from the toolbar select this ellipse tool and here draw an ellipse now select this direct selection tool select this anchor point and click on convert corner now select this point and this point by using arrow key on your keyboard take those anchor point little bit upward now select this one and rotate it now select this one go to edit copy edit paste in place and now change the color now drag it down by pressing shift key now select this one and this one take shape builder tool and delete it now we need to draw this shape now so let me fix this one and place it here so that you can understand what I am doing now take this pen tool and draw from here to here like this click here and now we need to draw this shape uh, here we don't have uh, much space so somehow I managed it so but now we need to take it a little bit upward and draw it like that now click on this anchor point and now change the color so here we need to fix this one this is not uniform so select this direct selection tool select on this anchor point and now manipulate this curve and you can take this one little bit down select again select this anchor point and let me fix this curve and take this one little bit up and this side as well now take pen tool and draw an eye from here to here and up to here and click here now take pen tool once again and I'll draw this shape now the top one so from here I'll draw it from here to here and go to the top and draw a curve like this 
now select this one and this one by pressing shift key and now click on reflect tool after clicking on reflect tool you will get the center point of both the object now by pressing alt key on your keyboard drag the center point to the end and place it here and click copy now take this one at the middle similarly take this one at the middle and now select this one this one and from here unite it similarly select this one and this one and unite it so here we did not uh, got a proper curve shape so what I'll do here is I'll take this ellipse tool and I'll draw an ellipse here from here to here and now I'll fix it up to up to here and here now we need to draw the shape so take this pen tool once again and draw a shape from here with the same alignment from here and keep the same distance from here to here I'll draw like this and from here to here now go to object and unlock it so we unlock the image that we locked at the beginning so here we need to make a gap for that select this go to object path offset path and here give some offset uh, let me give a little bit more offset and click OK change the offset color let us refill the opacity for those objects now select them take shape builder tool and pressing alt key delete those area now select this offset and delete it now select those three object and from here unite it and you can give color to them and select them and give color to them select this and give the same color and here give the same complete color from here select this rectangle and do a rectangle here and choose black color do right click arrange and send to back now from the toolbar select this ellipse tool and here draw an ellipse like this now select them take shape builder tool by pressing alt key delete it hope you like this tutorial you can support us by doing like share and subscribe thank you